Hi my gardening angels, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Jess. And today I wanna to give you an update on my succulents that I started from seed. So I actually started these a year and a half ago. So it was 2019 in March, so it's been like seven months <laughs> and a year. Um, but look at these succulents, look at them. These are Lowies, um, Echeveria Lowy. I did not want to buy a Lowy because I didn't want to spend like 40 some dollars on a succulent, but I thought they were so pretty. And so I really wanted one. Um, so instead I spent probably around eight bucks and I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 Lowies. Granted, it took a year and a half to get them to this size, and they're still pretty small, but I have them now. <laughs> um, and then this one here, it looks a little rough, and it definitely outgrew its pot. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus on this one, but this is a, I believe an Echeveria Colorada. So this one has been hit really hard this year, and it could honestly use a lot of TLC. It got hit really hard by mealybugs and still looks like it has a lot of mealybug issues, so I'll probably try to take care of that. Um, it's the last one of this variety. It seems like my Lowies don't have a single mealybug issue, but this one is just the attracted one. Um, so we're gonna look into that a little bit more. And then the last succulents that I grew are hedgehog cacti, and they're so cute. I'll give you guys a close-up of all of these but these are gorgeous cactus. And um, so today, I just wanted to kind of give you an update on these, and then um, I'm going to be repotting them for the second time. The first repotting I did was eight months ago, so I moved them out of the spinach plastic container and put them into these little pots. And now I'm going to be upgrading them to this size. So I think this is like a two inch pot, and these are like a one inch, so um, we're going to be up grading them to that. So the things that I just kind of gathered for this is some succulent soil or cactus mix. Um, a fast draining soil is something that you'll definitely want. And then I'm going to be using some pumice as well just to help in the draining. This is not necessary, but I do think my succulents love it. So I'm going to be kind of using that and I'm also probably going to top dress with it just because it looks really pretty and it kind of helps keep the fruit flies out. So um, we're gonna do, or the fungus gnats. Um, we're going to put a little bit of this on as well for the top dressing um, and I will include a link down below if you are interested in purchasing this pumice. Um, it's amazing. So the other thing I wanted to mention is that these succulents have been growing underneath grow lights about a foot away from them um, eight hours a day every day. <laughs> so. Um, they probably have grown a lot faster than if you were growing them just on a windowsill or something, but they still look really good. And um, I probably could have got them to go a little faster if I used uh, like fertilizer or something like that. I think I used a little bit of fertilizer, but not much. So anyway, let's just get them potted up.
right, so everything is all potted up. The only one I didn't do was this Colorado. Um, I'm gonna try to treat it for mealybugs before I pot it up. But aren't they so cute? I am so obsessed with these Lowies. It's probably one of my favorite succulents, if not the Lolas, um, but I am so thrilled with how these look. One note I did wanna make is that there is a white film that forms on most succulents leaves. And in the video you probably saw, when I touched the succulent, that film came off and it left kind of like a fingerprint. Um, I'm not too worried about this because it, it the white film is a protective layer that helps the succulent protect itself against sunlight and different things like that. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I've never had an issue when the white film has come off of any other succulent before. Um, it's kind of part of transplanting. I feel like it'd be really hard to not take off at least a little bit. I try to be as gentle as possible um, when I'm transplanting and not manhandle it too much. Um, but they'll, either the white film, I don't know if it grows back, but the new leaves will have the white film on it and it will look like I never even touched it in a few weeks. So um, I'm really happy with all of these. I didn't move a few of them that still had a little bit of room in their pot. Um, I'm just going to leave those ones be, but I did add some pumice, but I only had two of those, I think. Everything else I at least split um, into different containers other than this one that has three. I just made sure that it had enough room in each. Um, and then I gave the two largest ones their own little space. All of the hedgehog cactus, you probably noticed, I put all in the same container, which really isn't giving them too much more space, but it will help me save space under my grow light. And they're really growing more vertical than wide anyway, so, um, they'll still have plenty of room to grow and I'll just transplant those and probably just split them in half later down the road when they get a little bit bigger. Um, but they'll have some more soil and nutrients and then um, they can kind of go from there. The other thing I wanted to mention is that I am going to be making a succulent seed video on like a how to um, grow succulents from seed. I have videos already on buying succulents from seed so I'll include links down below to that. I do have a video on how to grow succulents from seed, but it was really old and a really poor quality video, so I'm going to be remaking it when I grow my new succulents from seed. Um, so don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so that you don't miss that video because you guys are going to love it. It's going to be so informational and then you can grow your own succulents from seed and have as much fun with it as I am. Again, these are all a year and a half old, so it's kind of funny depending on what container you put it in on how big it can get because some of them are still really small like this little guy and some of them have gotten really big like this one. So, But I promise you they're all the same age. It's just kind of dependent on what container I put them in when I transplanted. So if you thought this video was fun or interesting or if you just liked it please go ahead and click that thumbs up button um, before you go it really supports my channel and comment down below any questions that you guys might have um, i will see you guys in the next one bye